Well, I'm making the piston. Um, see, I just put it on a mandrel. I threaded a 3 8 inch hole since that's going to be the size of hole through the thing that I need. I just face this other piece off. I have a few of these. There's weird pulley blank things. But they're nasty. They don't cut for crap. And yeah. But I absolutely hate brass. Especially cast brass. Cast brass is nasty. It's one of the ones that I hate the most. Mainly because it comes off extremely hot. You can see all the little red marks all over my hands. Those are where the brass shavings were hitting. And they do not come off as normal shavings. They come off as everything. Tiny little pieces that just spray. Uh, let's get to work. I'll put you over here, see if you get a better angle here. Come on. And it is raining really hard outside. That's what that sound is. Putting itself to the tip, that's what stopped it. This 
this is why I hate extruded. Should be a little bit oversized. Yeah, a bit oversized, but beautiful finish on it. No, it's still quite a bit to go. Let's keep trying until it slips on. Yeah, I was just cutting the grooves for the O-ring, or the piston rings. I have a round profile cutter that I'm using. Just same as parting off, but instead of having it as a parting tool, it's just like a round part on the end. making the piston rings out of this it's PTFE tubing uh, I could go a little deeper yeah just a hair deeper Definitely not my finest hour when it comes to casting, but because there's a lot of blowholes and stuff in it, but it's solid. You can see my hands, all the burn marks. I hate this metal.
There it is. Okay, we'll see how it fits after I cut some rings. Okay, I figured I'd show you this. It's the tool I was using for cutting the groove for the O-ring. Since I was going to go with some uh, round tubing, I was using the same profile as what you'd use for an O-ring. But I also have the side here radius on both sides, straight back. It's just Yeah, I had a radius because then I could run it up against a corner and actually radius the corner. It's just a small radius, but yeah. Okay, finally done. This is a mess. It's just powder, more or less. The piston was not my finest work. I can tell you that. It... The machined sheeting was good. It was the casting that was crap. I had a lot of pinholes and porosity because I poured too cold. She was really bad on this side, but it keeps kinking side to side, but it's it really freely goes through it. I just don't want to lose oil all over my self. Um, this is why I hate cast brass. Hopefully you could see this. Those are all little blisters from being burnt. I'll go all the way up my arm. All the way up. Yeah, those little red spots are all blisters from being burnt from the shavings coming off the brass. This is why I hate machining cast brass. It's a lot harder, so it comes off a lot hotter. Now I'm going to clean this up, just run the vacuum cleaner over everything, suck everything up. And call it for the night. The Teflon rings are in the thing. I'll try to push this out to get it out. Yeah, that's what they're kind of dirty looking because yeah, but that's the piston rings. They're a very tight fit. So, hopefully when they, I get everything put together, it'll wear itself in a little bit. Because it's already starting to free up now. Just needed some oil. It just keeps kinking on me, that's why it keeps stopping. But it'll look just like that, but instead of this it'll have a rod coming through it, or the piston rod with a nut on it. It's almost flush with the end because of this recess. So, there's the piston. Now I'm going to go lather up in some aloe, get rid of these burns, and Yeah, it's almost flush, just a tiny bit protruding. But I'll take and do out the face on the cover there, and that'll never even touch. So, okay. Thanks for watching. Let me find a rag to get this oil off my hands. See ya.